So we were on the power part of the text 4. Parata Bhumite Hoyle Manusha Janmayara Janma Sakra Kari Kara Para Upukar. Last time, last week it was the explanation of what is the meaning of Parupkar. Parupkar comes in different way, in different style. Method can be a little bit different, but the mission is always the same. As we are talking, sharing about the meaning of Parupkar. One who has taken his birth as a human being in the land of India should make his life successful. We all as Vaishnavas are fortunate and these fortunes become little more strong when some Vaishnava take birth in India. Otherwise, Vaishnavas are Vaishnavas. The little plus point is there, those who take birth in the land of Radha Mohan. But it depends as per the Vaishnava's Acharya philosophy that what is the state, what is the grade of a Vaishnava. Only taking birth in India is not a meaning that he is a Vaishnava. Or taking in birth in some Western countries or even it doesn't mean that one cannot become Vaishnav. Fortune is there after taking birth in India and the chances are there to make yourself more and more elevated in the field of spirituality. Following the pious path of Vaishnavism. This fortune is there. Doesn't mean the people, those who are in living in far away, in other countries, they don't have any chance to become purify them and to become Radha Mohan devotee, to become in the process to make her, herself of himself as a Dasi of Srimati Radhika. So this is one thing has said has been said just about the Indian people that even after taking birth, uh, what uh, what an Indian should do definitely, definitely precisely need to be do for an Indian. Should make his life successful and work for the benefit of all other people. This is the first duty to become an Indian. And this is the first step of successfulness after taking birth in this country. How much you can do for others positively. I am fortunate, I have plenty, I have all comforts with me. Comfort means not with the material Aishwarya. Comforts possible can be in the mind, meaning of knowledge. How much knowledge I achieve from my Acharyas, Gurus or spiritual master. And now if they are not there, if this knowledge if this teaching of these Acharyas are, or the Gurus or spiritual masters are with me, I should share this all teachings, this all knowledge towards to make other people's life successful. Successful meaning how after taking birth as a human being, one can live his life as a real human being. And definitely our Vaishnavism is teaching us, our Acharyas are also teaching us how to become a real human being. Definitely we all are looking like human beings. But sometimes by the means of different news or many things, or sometimes with our open eyes we see the behavior or the character of someone is not like a real human being. Sometimes it becomes doubtful. What is the meaning to be a human being? 
so under the guidance of the parampara and under the guidance of acharyas spiritual master gurus when we come to know something that really what is the meaning of this life and we try as per under their direction what we can do to become a real human being then taking the form of this human being is successful until we are just human like the electricity is there but our switches are off so this path and vaishnavism or the going to the under shelter of a spiritual master because even we our eyes are there but under but what one covering is there we are not able to see where the switch and how to on it that's why we need a spiritual master in our life when we go to them go to him it just take my hand because only he is can see even in the darkness chakshu dan dilo jai janme jame par spiritual master has divine eyes just the darkness is hold our hand because he can see us also holding our hand he just put our hand our finger on the switch say press it put it on that when the switch is on light is there doesn't matter this light bulb can be less voltage then he say the process to how to make this light more and more brighter with the brighter we change the bulb we change our habits we change our style we change the way we think we change under his guidance the way we are daily daily behaving in our daily life daily behavior everyday action what to do what to do not and then slowly slowly by the process being more and more associated with our spiritual master the darkness is totally removed and we are able to see on the whole the duty of a pure vaishnava devotee on the whole the duty of a pure vaishnava devotee it's not to act for the is to act for the welfare of others then the meaning of human being turns in the meaning of a successful human being and the maharaj understand that gargamuni had come for this purpose and that his own duty now was to act according to gargamuni's advice all we know that the nanda maharaj or the vasudev or all these chiefs of the krishna past time they were not ordinary so they all were the associates of sri krishna brother and thus he said please tell me what is my duty and the manas said to garmu this should be the attitude of everyone especially the householder grihastha to ask such questions with a bona fide spiritual master the varnashrama society is organized into eight division varnashram divided into eight division grihastha ashram is one of them brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra brahmacharya grihastha vanaprastha and sanyas 
Nanda Maharaj represented himself as a Grihanam household. Brahmachari factually has no needs. But Grihi householders are engaged in sense gratification. Brahmachari, no need here, it is said because he is under the learning process. At the time of Brahmacharya, he is learning what to do, what to do not, where to go and where to, know, to not go. So the needs of a Brahmachari are almost nothing. But Grestas are in different activities as a householders. They have sense gratifications. As stated in Bhagavad Gita, Bhogavashwarya Prasachtanam Tya Paharta Chetasam. Everyone has come to this material world for sense gratification. And the position of those who are too attached, too attached to sense gratification and who therefore accept the Grihastha Ashrama is very precarious. So means if you this Grihastha Ashram is the churned, was the process to, to turn the sense gratification in a very polite and a very managed way. Since everyone in this material world is searching for sense gratification, Grihasthas are required to be trained as Mahat. If Grihastha is thinking that they don't need any kind of training, it's completely false. They need a training to be Mahat. Mahat means Mahatmas. Even living in the as a Grihastha, the nature, the mind, all activity from inside should be like a Mahatma, Tyagi, detached person. Therefore, Nanda Maharaj specifically used the word Mahat Vichalanam. Gargamuni had no interest to serve by going to Nanda Maharaj. But Nanda Maharaj as a Grihastha was always perfectly ready to receive the instruction from a Mahatma to gain the real benefit in life. So it was not just a sense gratification for Grihastha. Sense gratification means a Grihastha need also to make his life balance in many ways. Because in a Grihastha life, with the sense of gratification, many other things are there. Kama is there, grow the anger is there, sometimes loba greed is also there. So, Mahat means that the person who is able to manage his Grihastha life to managing each and every person of the family member and make, making a perfect balance among material and spiritual. This Grihastha is a 
it is to be said that he has done something beneficial for his life until the balance is not there between material even within material life with the family members and if there is a no mixture of spiritually mean to say the percentage of spiritual life should be day day by day increase from this material life just by keeping maintaining this balance also in in this way then it is said that's why the word mahad vichalanam Karagmuni had no interest to serve by going to Nand Maharaj. He doesn't want it that go and Nand Maharaj will serve me. No, but Nand Maharaj as a grihast. This is the balance here. Was always perfectly ready to receive instruction. Why? To balance this material uh, between material and spiritual. From a mahatma to gain the real benefit in life. what is the real benefit of life as you are completely away from spirituality only in material is not benefit of life how you manage to make this balance is stable between spirituality and material life and trying day by day to increase the spirituality in your life rather than increasing materialism this is the benefit of life thus he was ready to execute garga muni's order text 5 jyotishamainam sakshat yat gyanamat indriyam pranitam bhavata yena puman ved paravaram a oh, great saintly person you have compiled the astrological knowledge by which one can understand past and present unseen things by the strength of this knowledge any human being can understand what he has done in his past life and how it affects his present life this is known to you. the word destiny is now defined an intelligent person who doesn't do not understand the meaning of life are just like animal that's why i included the word balance animals do not know the past present and future of life nor are they able to understand it this facility is not available for them but a human being can understand this if he is sober therefore as stated in bhagavad gita तत्र ना मुहियती ए सोबर पर्सन इज नॉट बिवेल्डर्ड द सिंपल ट्रूथ इज दट ऑल दो लाइफ इज इटर्नल इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड वन चेंजेस फ्रॉम वन बॉडी टू अनदर पुलिश पीपल especially in this age do not understand this simple truth this life and this body is everything ideology so this ideology is a 
is popular among many. Eat, drink, and be merry. That is, this is the life. This human body, we took birth for just for enjoyment, just to satisfy the senses. Living complete in opulences. That's it. So this is the simple truth. That they completely thought this body is everything. What I am doing, I am the doer, and by my efforts, everything is possible to do. Maybe fortunately, by the previous good karmas, you have a good luck in this life. That you have a lot of opulences, all facilities. And comforts are with you. So, if people have like this life, they should understand the life is not permanent. The body is not permanent. The same thing that what he has or she has right now that would not be permanent. Who knows what is next life? Nobody knows. Because of the last karma, you got something good. If you got, you have to take like this. Definitely, I do something good in the last karma life. I have this, so I need to be aware that I should not make any stupidity in this life that throw me back again in the life of some animal life. So these type of people need to be more conscious. Not to come under the seas of Maya. Oh, um, I have everything. I can do everything. Confidence is very good thing. I can do, but only I can do this is over confidence. It means that you are thinking that no, none of any other can do this. Then this problem starts when you are totally unaware, like a drunk person. Who is not in his actual state, not in his mind? He thinks I am the king. The whole world is under, working under my direction. When he drunk, when he drinks, dehino ismim yatha dehe kaumaram yavanam jara tatha dehantra praptir. As the embodied soul continually passes in this body from boyhood to the youth to old age, the soul similarly passes into another body at death. The self-realized soul is not bewildered by such a change. Who is situated in the situation of Atma Ram? Ramaiti Ram. Krishna, the greatest authority, says that the body will change. No doubt. As Krishna is saying, none of any other. And as soon as the body changes, one's whole program of work changes also. Today, I am a human being or a great personality. But with a little deviation from nature's law, I shall have to accept a different type of body. Today, I am a human being, but tomorrow I may become a dog. And then whatever activities I have performed in this life, 
will be a failure. The simple truth is now rarely understood. But one who is a dhira can understand this. Who have a mind, patience, patience, mind to understand things. Not only understanding, after understanding, working as per the same. Those in this material world for material enjoyment should know that because their present position will cease to exist, they must be careful in how they act. It's very important. It's being said here that you have to be careful about other how you are behaving with others. How you are talking, how what you are saying to others, what you are doing with others. This is a very important. This is also stated by Rishabh Deva. Na sadhu manne yata atmano yam asan api kleshada asa dehe. Although this body is temporary, as long as we have to live in this body, we must suffer. Old age, diseases, this will never give up. These two things will be always with us. Whether one has a short life or a long life, one must suffer the threefold miseries of material life. Therefore, any gentleman, dhira, here it is said that only dhiras are gentlemen, must be interested in Jyotisha, astrology. Nanda Maharaj was trying to take advantage of the opportunity afforded by Gargamuni's presence. For Gargamuni was a great authority in this knowledge of astrology, by which one can see the unseen events of past, present and future. It is the duty of a father to understand the astrological position of his children and do what is needed for their happiness or for the goodness in their life, how peacefully they can lead their life and how they can become a good human being. For this purpose, a father must know a little bit the part of astrology. Why they know? Because a real father, they, he never wants that my child should suffer. With the praying, chanting, being associated more and more in the spirituality, along with the part of astrology is also becomes important in the life of Igriyasta. Now taking advantage of the opportunity afforded by the presence of Gargamuni, Nanda Maharaj suggested that Gargamunis prepare a horoscope for Nanda's two sons, Krishna and Balara. That's why this is still in India, when the child takes birth. Even today, people are making their birth chart of early first to see past and future everything in the present. Text 6. Tomhi Brahma Vidam Sestra Sanskaran Kartumarhasi Palyur Nair Nurnam Janmana Brahmano Guru. My Lord, you are the best of the Brahmanas, especially because you are fully aware of the Jyotis Shastra, the astrological science. 
therefore you are naturally the spiritual master of every human being this being so since you have kindly come to my house kindly exclude the reformatory activities for my two sons what will happen their life how will be their life all these things please tell me in detail purport the supreme personality of godhead krishna says in bhagavad gita chaturvarnyam maya srishtam gunah karma vibhagsa chaturvarnyam maya srishtam gunah karma vibhagsa so krishna is saying in shrimad bhagavad gita not any ordinary person is saying this. the four varnas brahmana kshatriya vaishya and shudra must be present in society the brahmanas are required for the guidance of the people or the whole society if there is no such institution as varnashrama dharma and if human society has no such guide as the brahmana human society will be hellish but we see as the the effect of kaliyuga many brahmins they forgotten their duties their dignity also so as long as we forgotten all these things the values of brahmanas also born in dune in kali yuga especially at the present moment there is no such thing as a real ram and therefore society is in a chaotic condition formerly there were qualified brahmanas but at present although there are certainly persons who think themselves brahmanas they actually have no ability to guide sight the main quality of a brahman that he should can work for welfare of whole society the krishna consciousness movement is therefore very much eager to reintroduce the varnashrama system into human society so that those who are bewildered or less intelligent will be able to make take guidance from qualified brahmin if really some these type of qualified brahmanas are left only by them not with all brahman means vaishnava after one becomes a brahman the next stage of development in human society is to become a vaishnava so body of a simple human brahmana is a ordinary body but when this brahman becomes vaishnava then he becomes more important people in general must be guided to the destination or goal of life and therefore they must understand vishnu the supreme personality of god is the whole system of vedic knowledge is based on this principle but people people have lost the clue nate vidu swartha gatim hi vishnum and they are simply pursuing sense gratification with the risk 
अब ग्लाइडिंग डाउन टू ए लोअर ग्रेड ऑफ लाइफ मृत्यु संसार वर्तमानी लोअर ग्रेड ऑफ लाइफ इट डजेंट मैटर वेदर वन इज बॉर्न ए ब्राह्मणा और नॉट नो वन इज बॉर्न ए ब्राह्मणा एवरी वन इज बॉर्न ए शूद्रा बट बाय द गाइडेंस ऑफ ए ब्राह्मणा and by samskara one can become dwija twice born and then gradually become a brahman brahmanism is not a system meant to create a monopoly for a particular class of men no some brahmins they think But this is only our adhikar. This is only our our duty, our authority to do. Other cannot do. everyone should be educated so as to become a brahmana brahmanism not a system meant to create a monopoly or for a particular class of men at least there must be an opportunity to allow everyone to attain the destination of life that's why in vaishnavism there is no any type of class or guideline for different varnas vaishnavism vaishnav means vaishnav one who follow the path of bhakti besides is under the guidance of spiritual master he is a vaishnav he is brahman everyone should be educated so as to become a brahman at least there must be an opportunity to allow everyone to attain the destination of life regardless of whether one is born in a brahmana family a kshatriya family or a shudra family one may be guided by the proper brahmana and be promoted to the highest platform of beings vaishnav this is the duty of brahmin to bring people to make them more and more vaishnav thus the krishna consciousness movement affords an opportunity to develop the right destiny for human society Nand Maharaj took advantage of the opportunity of Gargamuni's presence by requesting him to perform the necessary reformatory activities for his sons to guide them toward the destination of life. टेक्स्ट सेवन श्री गर्ग उवाच यदुनामाचार्य क्या तुवि सर्वदा कृत मैया संस्कृत ते मनते देवी की सुत गर्ग मुनि सेठ माई डियर नंद महाराज आई एम द प्रिस्टली गाइड ऑफ द यदु डायनेस्ट्री दिस इज नॉन एवरीवेयर therefore if i perform the purificatory process for your sons kamsa will consider them the sons of devak
Gargamuni indirectly disclosed that Krishna was the son of Devaki. Not of Yashoda. Since Kamsa was already searching for Krishna, if the purificatory process were undertaken by Gargamuni, Kamsa might be informed and that would create a catastrophe. So it was like Kamsa was looking for the where is the Krishna to kill. But here it is said that Gargamuni disclosed this. The Krishna is not the son of Yashoda, he is the son of Devaki. And it is also said that if Gargamuni is doing something, this kind of ceremony, Kamsa need to be informed. And that would create a catastrophe. It may be argued that although Gargamuni was the priest of the Yadu dynasty, Nanda Maharaj also belonged to that dynasty. Nanda Maharaj, however, was not acting as a Kshatriya. Therefore, Gargamuni said, if I act as your priest, this will confirm that Krishna is the son of Dev. Here the Gargamani was saying the truth. No problem. If you think that I am your act as your priest, as a Brahmin, simple Brahmin, then I have to confirm this that the Krishna is not your son, it's like the son of Deva. Text 8 and 9. Tansa Papamati Sakyam Tab Chanak Dunduhe. Devakyastamo Garbona is three Bhavit to Marathi. It is Anchintia to Shrutuva Devakya Dari Kavacha. Happy Hanta Gatas Sanks for him. Can no Anio Bhavi. Kamsa is both a great diplomat and a very simple man. Therefore, having heard from Yogamaya, the daughter of Devaki, that the child who killed him was already been born somewhere else. Having heard that the eight pregnancy of Devaki could not bring forth a female child and having understood your friendship with Vasudeva, Kamsa, upon hearing that the purificatory process has been performed by me, The priest of the Yadu dynasty may certainly consider all these points and suspect that Krishna is the son of Devaki and Vasudeva. Then he might take steps to kill Krishna. That would be a catastrophe. Already comes out listen by Yoga Maya that. This child already took birth or will kill you. And having understood your friendship with Vasudeva, comes upon hearing that the purification process has been informed by me because I am the priest of Yadu dynasty also. And Kamsa is also a part of Yadu dynasty. So if all this known by Kamsa, definitely he will come and try to kill Krishna. Kamsa know very well that Yogmaya was, after all, the maid servant of Krishna and Vishnu. And that although Yogmaya had appeared as the daughter of Devaki, she might have been forbidden to disclose this fact. 
Actually, she has been sent to disclose this fact. Actually, this was what had happened. Gargamuni argued very soberly that his taking part in performing the reformatory process for Krishna's would give rise to many doubts. So that Kamsa might take very severe steps to kill the child. Means when the news will reach to Kamsa and when think that all everything has been said to him was false. So he will can he start towards Nanda Maharaj place to kill Krishna. Kamsa had already sent many demons to attempt to kill this child already. But none of them had survived. If Gargamuni were to perform the purificatory process, Kamsa's suspicious would be fully confirmed. He will know that the child who will kill him is already there. And he would take very severe step. And after knowing this, he could be able to do anything. Gargamuni gave this swearing warning to Nanda Maharaj. By this, Gargamuni warned Nanda Maharaj very clear. Text 10. Sri Nandu Vacha Alakshito Smin Rasi Mamke Rapik Dobrije Guru Dujati Sansakaram Swasti Vachana Purvatam. Nanda Maharaj said, My dear Great Sid, if you think that your performing this process of purification will make Kamsa suspicious, then secretly chant the Vedic hymns and perform the purifying process of second birth here in the cow shed of my house. So you do the things hiding, you no need to spread this all without the knowledge of anyone else, even my relatives. For this process of purification is essential. Nanda Maharaj did not like the idea of avoiding the purificatory process. As a Grihastha, he was not ready to give up this ceremony. Despite the many obstacles, many problems came even. He wanted to that in the presence of Gargamuni. To do what is needed. The purificatory process is essential, especially for Brahmanas, Kshatriyas, and Vaishyas. Therefore, since Nanda Maharaj presented himself as a Vaishya, this process of purification was essential. Formerly, such institutional activities were compulsory. It was certainly like this. One time, long ago. Chaturvarnyam mayas srastam guna karma vivaksha Without these activities of purification, the society would be considered a society of animals. We can say this purification is also a part of cleaning. To take advantage of Gargamuni's presence, Nanda Maharaj wanted to perform the Namakarana ceremonies even secretly. To give the name both of these children, Nanda Maharaj wanted to keep it very secret. Just because of the thumbs. Without any gorgeous arrangement, therefore, the opportunity for purification should be regarded as the essential duty of human society. In Kali Yuga, however, people have forgotten the essence. Manda Sumanda Matayo Manda Bhagya Upadruta. 
and this age people are all bad and are fond unfortunate and they do not accept vedic instruction to make their life successful nand maharaj however did not want to neglect anything besides grihastha to keep intact a happy society advanced in spiritual knowledge he took full advantage of garg muni's presence so all the many times these things are coming so i come to understand what is the role of a sage or a sacred personality or a spiritual master or a bona fide spiritual personality a sadhu and mahatma and the society in human society this is very clear over here the in the absence of sadhu mahatma the spiritual master a bona fide spiritual practitioner the unknown people of this society without this kind of and any well being knowledge are completely empty with the qualities of a real human being so the name of gargamuni is not just only with the help of gargamuni here vyas they wanted to show or the shrimad bhagavatam is teaching us that how important is the presence of a spiritual master in everyone's life it's totally dark totally dark in the absence of spiritual personality a spiritual personality is not for rituals it show the real path to fix our self on our goal the necessity of our life what is the needed really as a soul from where the soul came and where the soul want to go forgotten really need to go again to knowing that who am i what is my swarup so this is totally not possible in the absence of a spiritual master jeeva need ananda really and ananda the display situation is not possible in the absence of actual knowledge knowledge in the sense where i am who am i what is my spiritual form A human life is obtained after many, many millions of births. How degraded society has become within five thousand years. Mand sumand mati om mand bhagya. The human life is obtained after many, many billions of births, and it is intended for purification. previously a father was eager to give all kinds of help to the elevate his children but at present because of being misguided people are prepared even to kill to avoid the responsibility of raising children
I think I should conclude over here. Next week, text will start from text 11. Shukovacha evam samprato vipraha satchitishit mevata chakaranam karanam gudho rasi balayo Jai Jai Shri Rade Jai Jai Shri Rade Jai Jai Shri Rade Tai Gaur Bhimande Hari Thank you very much Thanks a lot once again Thanks to you, to all of you dear Sachinandana ji Thanks to you. On <laughs> one means I like that if more and more people coming. More and more people coming means they are joining. Number of people will be there, and then I will like also that, that my voice is reaching to the ears of many. They are getting benefit. Of listening to the Bhagavatam as well as I'm purifying my tongue to reading by reading Srimad Bhagavatam. Very thankful to Sundaram Daji Prabhu Dhanavat in your lotus feet, Kevala Bhakti Didi Dhanavat Pranam in your lotus feet. I'm very thankful to Uddhava Das Prabhu, thankful Dhanavat Pranam in your lotus feet. Our Gobinath Ji, Gobinath Bhaiya Ji. Thank you very much. Just to connect me. Say something to read. That uh, my soul in the form, my soul form also enjoy the, all these things. Harikata by listening. And, uh, I try to make myself also a little bit a beneficial part of my life. Thank you very much, Sundaram Ji. See you next time. Thank you for purifying my ears. Any Thank question? You. What is coming to you? I can give answer. You like? You don't know. So, when was any question raised in your mind, you can ask. I will try to clear it as much. My small no, no, no. <laughs> mind can think. I'm not a very bona fide person or not much knowledge about all these things. Just I'm also with you. I'm getting the benefit. I'm getting a chance to learn more and more. Thank you very much. Dhanavat Pranam.